Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? HTG Brian here, and we've got another LEGO Harry Potter Years 5 through 7 video for you! That's right, we got Magic is Might Story, which happens to be level 14. We're gonna pick up a trophy achievement called A Wise Disguise. We're also gonna shoot for that true wizard requirement of 50k, which we fall a little bit short, as you can probably tell by the old gold brick notation as only being one on the right for completing the level. So here we are, we're in London, and whoops, we gotta jump into this quick cutscene in the Kia Cafe! Oh no, we're being attacked in the old cafe. And look at this, we can use Leviosa to flip the tables up and give us a little protection, but it doesn't do us a whole lot of good. Really what we need to do here is kind of wait for a few shots to be shot at us, and then he'll target that dish. And uh, it's up to us to actually grab it with Leviosa and send it back and return the favor, but I actually dropped it, and uh, we'll get a second chance here in a hot second. So here he goes, he's gonna lift that up, and I do recommend that you do stand back. As you get too close, it will kind of uh, do this weird, uh, it kind of knocks you back. There's like this invisible force field type of thing there, and uh, it does not only slow you down a little bit for a second and could cause you to get powed right in the kissa with that disha, but uh, it uh, also is best recommended to be back because of the fact that you have a little bit longer to grab and return fire on the dishes that they're tossing at us. But as you may have guessed, it is the rule of three, but it's the rule of three to the second power. As you can see, we have two of these guys that both require the same process, just different times. So same guys, different time. And uh, you might have noticed that I actually got a little too close for comfort there, and that force field made me kind of uh, go weebly wobbly back there, and it was kind of kind of a red barrier that I got close to. So anyhow, uh, not that important or awesome. We just have to dodge these weird shots that they're taking at us, and look at that. Now we don't even have to send back the dish. Um, we'll, we'll come back to that in a second, but they've actually uh, shot the ceiling and dropped some pieces that uh, didn't work in their favor. So. Look at me, I've decided to uh, clean up a little bit around here and uh, move some things around, do a little rearrangement, so to speak. But uh, as you can see here, we're actually going to dodge a few more shots and uh-oh, he's he's throwing some chicken at us. What the heck, what a turkey. Oh, and we've knocked him down. He looks like he's out for the count. And last but not least, we got one heart left on Blondie over here. So we'll go ahead and wait, wait for it. Oh, he's got cake. That's right, we know what we do with cake. We're gonna send it right on back and splat. And look at that. Oh, we hit that barrier again. Whoopsie. We'll go ahead and target him and take him out and a quick little cutscene. Make sure you don't blink or you might miss this quick little hub scene here and it's actually quite entertaining as the locals have some quite interesting get-ups on. But what we're doing here is we're trying to get to the underground hub of the Ministry of Magic which is called the White Hall, I believe? And uh, yes, yeah, so we gotta get some costumes so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now and I'll go ahead and let the cutscene do the rest of the talking for us. <laughs> Hmm. 
so we have officially arrived inside the old white hall or the inside the headquarters of the ministry of magic and we are down and out we actually need to get into that door that is at the end of that walkway there but you can see our pathway is being blocked so we need to create some sort of distraction to get by and so it starts off by going to the far right of the area and taking out the two silver locks that are holding up and uh, they're actually like weights. Once you remove those, it actually drops this red wall. And we're going to go ahead and target it with the Findo and carve out what appears to be a little miniature. Ooh, it's a wind-up bomb. I'll take that. We'll go ahead and wind it up once, and it'll make its way on over to this pad. But once it gets to that pad, it actually requires yet another winding. So we'll go ahead and get on that, well, right now. There we go. I thought we were going to walk to the end of the path. We wind it up, and it turns one big bomb into a bunch of little bomb, 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 bomb bombs. And check that out. These guys are going to go around and honk their little two and they're gonna shoot out some sort of uh look at that it's a powdery glow and it sends everybody in a panic so we're one step closer to get inside that door but the security is fierce so what we got to do is we actually need to switch to ron and pull out his light device and oh not the lolly ron not the lo nope not the turkey either you turkey but uh, I get a little confused here, and I'm sure that it has something to do with the nearby surroundings, because you know how LEGO works. When you can't figure it out, smash everything around you, and usually the solution presents itself. But in this case, I actually need to light things up. There I can see the one, and I'm like, oh, to the yeah, I need to light this up. But see, I didn't press the button. Normally, it cues me, and it goes, hey, press the circle button to pull out uh, yeah, no, the deluminator. I almost forgot the name of it. And, uh, yeah, but in this case, it didn't do it. So I go all mixed up, and I use uh, a bunch of spells, smash everything. Nope, nope, nope. Here we go. Get ready. Here we go. I finally figured out. There's the other side of the Deluminator. I actually go and switch to the Deluminator section of my spells. And look at that. I have officially pulled the light. And let there be light by the eye. Oh, look at that. He draws It's a little too bright for Buddy standing there protecting. He drops some pieces, which we can build up into. What is this? What is this? Oh, Looks like a cello, perhaps, or a bass, maybe a little violin or something. I don't know. We're playing a tune, though, and go to sleep, go to sleep. Oh, look at that. He is officially conked out. The door is open. We're going to make our way inside, and oh, it's awfully pink in here. And okay, we're going to spin that around, and oh, look at that. It takes off. Uh, oh, we found ourselves a key. That'll come in handy. As we pick it up, we actually notice that it directs us over to the right. Looks like there's two locks that we need to find now. If you're unfamiliar with what we're doing right now, the task at hand is we're trying to find one of the believed Horcruxes. And yeah, those are the things that old Lord V has. Uh, eh, well, it's kind of like a protection spell. We need to get all of them and destroy them. So one of them is supposedly right inside this little lockbox over here. So we got the second key. Let's spin it around and see what's inside. Ah, huh? mm, mm, mm. That's right, we have not discovered what we were after. It turns out it's not in there, so the switch continues. What we're going to do now is we're going to try to go and find uh, the person who we believe to have it, which is Dolores Umbridge. And we remember her from being back at Hogwarts and causing a ruckus. But uh, what we're going to do now is use Aquamenti to fill up the old watering jug there. We're going to use Leviosa to fill it up, or excuse me, to pour it out and drop it right inside that pot. Once we fill it up with water, it actually grows a nice big old flower. We're going to take that flower power and use Leviosa to attach it to the wall, which spins to win. And look at that. It actually drops a bunch of water, and for some reason it rains on the outside, and Buddy on the inside drops down and spins the wheel for us which opens the gate and allows us further access into the next room so look at this we have officially made it into the elevator room this is a crazy room with lots of different pathways to different places and look at that Ooh, there's a bluesy make sure you get on over there and grab that twosy Oh, and look, here we got, uh, we got a silver lock on one of the elevator doors here. So we're going to go bust that open with Reducto. And look at that. We've got some pieces that we can put and complete the tube. And now next, we're going to pull out old Pidgewidgeon, or however you say his name, and get him up in there and drop out all of the blocks that were up inside the top of that tube. And look at that. We have completed another elevator control panel there, and it 
kind of goes back and forth, and all of a sudden it calls the doors open, and booyah kashow. We're going to go ahead and take a nice little ride and see what's going down, quite literally. Seeing as we are riding the elevator downstairs. <laughs> Alright, so we are in the final battle for this level. We got a bunch of bad guys coming at us. We're going to go ahead and take them out. I don't think it matters which spell you choose, but it looks like we are using Reducto to reduce those bad guys in here. I don't know if that really works, but it sounds cool. Reducto, Reducto, kind of, you know. But uh, the rule of three would apply here, as old Dolores does have three hearts, and it's kind of a, a repeated rule of three here. As she's throwing three items at us, we can only grab the third. She's sending bad guys at us, which appear to come in waves of three. Um, and yeah, so it's lots of threes. Not exactly sure what Lego's fascination with three is. You know, you don't see a lot of bricks that are threes. Most of them are two by twos or uh, one by ones or, you know, four by fours things like that uh, most of the time you don't see like three by threes you know think about it there's not a lot of three by three pieces so who knows maybe it's uh lego's way of catching up with that odd number three that they've battled with over the years of not being able to have the even numbers you know because three's odd so anyhow hey uh we've got two hearts taken down as we have returned fire and oh no it switched up on us we actually have to have a little bit of a duel here and so we're gonna go ahead and get our duel on i believe this is uh, Malvoy? Not, is it Malvoy? No, he's got a long ponytail. That can't be Draco. Um, it's gotta be, I think it's one of the Malfoy. I'm not sure, though. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Tell me how much of a Harry Potter noob I am. I know a lot, but I certainly forget some of the names of some of the people that aren't part of the, like, you know, continuous overall every time story like this guy comes and goes and who knows he might just be like a representative uh, you know, he might even be the uh, main guy from the Ministry of Magic I don't know but let me know down below in the comments that would be greatly appreciated but once we take him out he actually hops out of there look at him hightail it and run out of here and back to Dolores where she is ooh this time she's got more than three items so look at me I'm trying to act all cool and talk about the rule of three and then they totally go and just spoil that for me this looked like five different things maybe six different things but that purple one ooh, it almost hit the ground and i almost dropped it but powder right in the kisser with it and now look at this we've got one more duel going here and i think this is where i learn to use my little shield because i get owned quite a few times in these duels and, and i did when i fought against snape a while back too so hey who's here is excited for old free play are you guys uh, just really wanting to see those or do you enjoy these story-based movies too i know i'm kind of asking this late in the video and our viewer retention has been very low lately so any feedback i can get from you guys new or old or uh, at the beginning or end of videos would certainly be greatly appreciated, but here we go. We got the final heart and we've taken her down and oh no! Alright, we are off and running! And as it would turn out, at this point while I was playing this, we still didn't have the mini kit collectible guide of our trophy achievement guide ready for this. So I was unsure if there was any mini kits like on left or right side running, and I was just like, no mini kits, no mini kits, no mini kits. Come on, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, big bucks, no whammies! And it looks like I got good at it. Although it's, I know I said mini kits, I know it's crest pieces, but shh, let me slide on that one. Oh, look at that! Oh, would you look at that? 
Oh, Booyaka Shao! A wise disguise is now ours for completing the level, and of course, free play is unlocked, which we will be returning to shortly to get those housed crests and those character tokens that are scattered throughout the world and the level. So, O oh, to the yeah, we get our gold brick for completing the level. We'll take that. We're up to 30 now, so still a long ways away from home plate, but we'll get there soon enough, I promise. So, uh-oh, you know what this screen means? That's going to wrap it up for LEGO Harry Potter Years 5 through 7, level 14. And to be completely honest with you, I have spaced the name of it, so... But hey, uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, we encourage you to go over to our Facebook or our Twitter or our, well, any of our social pages, which are actually all linked down below. In fact, why don't I go ahead and touch on that right now? You guys should slide down and read the description below the video and click on those links and choose the one that works for you. So as we present you with all of our social pages, uh, we thank you for your time and your support as you guys continue to support our nonsensical video. No, I'm just kidding. We make lots of sense in our videos. At least we try to. And we try to have fun with them. And for the most part, I think we hit that stride. But hey, if you guys have any requests or any special jokes or maybe you want to hear something uh, regarding something else or maybe you're tired of Harry Potter right now. You want a break. You want Lego Dimensions. Good news for you. Some Wave 7 stuff comes out real soon. So look for that on our channel. As for me, that's going to do it for now. As always, until next time. <laughs> See ya.